Hi guys, today is going to be a haul video of some new makeup products I bought. I did put an order in for Sephora for a couple things and I have gotten some things at MAC recently. So I just wanted to show you guys because I'm really excited about them. I'm just going to go ahead and jump right into it so we don't have a really long intro. <laughs> One of the products I got off of Sephora.com was the Cora's Lip Butter and I've heard a lot of really good things about this and a lot of people have raved about this on YouTube and I'm always willing to try like a really good lip butter, luxurious lip product just because I love these type of products, especially like before bed or just something that's really going to nourish your lips and keep them really, really healthy. So I got guava because I know there's tons of different shades that kind of give your lips a little bit of a tint. This is just the clear one so it's not going to give any sort of tint to your lips. Um, but I really, really like it. The texture is really, really nice. It's really buttery like it says. It's a lip butter. So I've always loved the Lush, like the lip service and the Honey Trap lip balms. And those are I think 6 or $7. They're a little bit um, less expensive. But this is really nice. So I'm happy. I just wanted to try it. I'm always willing just to try products. I do like this. I'm glad I got it. I had if you spend $50, you get free shipping. So I was like, oh, let me just find something else extra. I can just kind of throw in there. And that was the Chorus Lip Butter. I didn't want to get something just to get something. I actually have been wanting to try this. So it was just, you know, one of the less expensive items on the website. So I just went ahead and went with this. But the reason why I wanted to order off of Sephora.com was to try the Illamascus Skin Base Foundation, which I've heard so many people talk about. I watch Nick and Sam, Pixie Woo, and I absolutely love their videos, and they use this foundation all the time, and it always looks flawless. So I was like, you know what? I need to try that. Even though I do work for MAC, I use a lot of MAC products, but a lot of my, like, Foundations and concealers and things like that, I do use other brands. Like, my favorite is the Estee Lauder Double Wear. I love this foundation, it's amazing. I love Chanel foundations. This Sailor Mask is actually what I have on today, so I'll kind of go up close so you guys can see. So, this is what the foundation looks like on my skin. This is the shade 10.5, which is going to be like medium to tan for like a yellow undertone skin. They explain everything online if you wanted to see it. I really like the coverage, it's really natural and glowy, but it still gives you some coverage. It doesn't really feel Feel like I'm wearing much of anything on my skin um, but this is the combo that I use today this is the Urban Decay the optical blurring brush which is amazing um, it buffs foundation on beautifully it's kind of similar to like the Sigma what is this the angle top kabuki or like the kabuki brushes from Sim Sigma it's kind of similar but this is what I used and I used like less than a dime size. I mean, it was closer to like a pea size amount that I used. It goes a really long way. It's a little bit expensive. It's around $42, I believe, which is pretty expensive for a foundation. And when I got it in the mail, I was like, it looks so small, but it's a fluid ounce. And I checked all my other foundations and they're all one fluid ounce. I think it's just the shape of the bottle just makes it look really tiny. So like I opened up my box and I was like so happy. And I see this little shrimp and I was just like, this was the first time today that I've used this foundation, so I'm just going to see how I like it, see how it wears, um, but I've used the Cora's Lip Butter a few times and I really like it, so so far, so good. I did get some things from MAC as well. I picked up the MAC, the Mineralized Charge Water, um, which is like a skin hydrating mist. And I have Fix Plus, and if you have Fix Plus, it's fairly similar. It's still going to be like a hydrating mist for your skin. But what's nice about this one, <laughs> this one has crushed Brazilian diamonds, so it actually leaves little flakes of little diamonds on your skin and gives you a little bit of a glow, which is really nice. And it smells amazing. It smells so good. And if you love the smell of Fix Plus, like that really fresh smell, like I feel like you would love this even more. I have more normal to dry skin and I still wear powder, so I always use like a finishing spray on my skin just to give it a little bit of a fresher appearance. So, love this. I also I picked up um, Mauveless Pro Longwear Eyeshadow, which is gorgeous. That's actually what I have on my eyes today, kind of in the outer corner with Deep Damson. It's a really true like mauve purple color. It's so nice and so warm and just beautiful. Let's watch it for you guys. It's just a really nice deep mauve purple. I absolutely love it. Um, and it's just gorgeous for the outer corner mixed with some browns. It gives a really nice kind of smoky eye. So I've really been loving this. Just using in the outer corner. I mix it with some other browns if I really want to kind of smoke it out. Or you could even, if you really wanted to, you could maybe wear it all over the lid and all around the eye for like a smoky purple eye. But I prefer it just like in the outer corner as just like a contrast color and it's just beautiful. 
Next product I picked up recently was the Pro Sculpting Cream, which I featured in my last video, which was the um, Spring Summer Trend Series video for Signature, which is just a really natural look. And this is a Pro Sculpting Cream, and it's gorgeous. It's just a really light cream, but it doesn't have really any shimmer too much to it. So when you apply it to your cheeks, it looks super, super natural. It's got kind of a pinky undertone to it. I'll swatch it. And this is what it looks like on the skin. It leaves your skin with just a really nice kind of glowy highlight. Just another product that I, you know, didn't need, but oh well. The next two products I have are from the Extra Dimension collection, which just recently came out. I got Zestful, which is gorgeous! Um, so, oh, wow. I probably just scared the neighbors. Looks okay. like this. I'll swatch it for you guys. It's just a really nice soft minty color and what I love about these um, extra dimension colors is you can wet your brush and really intensify it or you could just wear it like that like a really soft wash Let's see if I can build it up more it's actually a pretty soft color so it doesn't have too much of a color payoff but when you wet your brush it's going to be even stronger I also got at dusk which was the extra dimension blush which is a really nice soft pink and it looks really nice on the skin. These are definitely buildable because um, they're really soft when you first apply them, but you can really build them up for some good color. This is just a really nice soft pink. I also recently got a 287 brush just because I don't have one and I've been wanting one and I know it's a really good brush. I'm not sure. I don't believe counters carry this brush. Honestly, I'm just kind of clueless about this brush. I can't remember if this was limited edition or if it's a store only brush because I know my counter doesn't carry it. Um, but if you guys know, let me know. It's the 287 brush. I could probably just go to work and ask somebody, but if somebody wants to let me know, feel free or let somebody know in the comments so everybody else knows. It's a really nice brush. If you see all the little um, white bristles, it's really good to getting right underneath the lash line and blending out shadow or pencils, but you can pretty much create like any eye look with this one brush because it kind of smudges, it blends, it does like a million things, so it's awesome. I actually wasn't even planning on getting this brush, but um, one of the freelancers that was working at the store that I went to, she like convinced me to get it. She was like, you need this brush. I was like, okay. So really, really like this. So last but not least, I got a lipstick palette, yay. You don't buy these like this. This was just some of the lipsticks that I own that I just wanted to kind of pop in a palette so I can just keep up in like my makeup area. So it's just really easy when I'm getting ready for work. I can just open it, da, 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 and it's like really quick and easy. And it's great for travel too. It's just, I mean, there's 24, I believe 24. Yeah, 24 lipsticks can fit in here. That's amazing. I mean, it did definitely take some time. Me and my roommate were watching a movie, so I just did it while I was watching the movie. It took me about an hour, hour and a half. And I don't know if I'm like really slow and people do it way quicker than that, but what I did is I just cut them each individually and kind of placed them in the uh, sections. I microwaved it, took it out, kind of shaped them again, microwaved and took them out, shaped them again. I mean, and I had to wipe them clean. Like, it was a big mess. I mean, it took a lot of effort, but I'm happy that it's just... I did the task and it's kind of fun too at the same time so I'm glad I did it um, but now I have them all like in a convenient little palette so I'll bring it close so you guys can see too so if you guys want to see all the colors and stuff this is what they look like I mean I have like myth Saint Germain got some reds in there Vegas vault up the amp I got some like more nudies like hug me high tea just a lot of good like staple matte colors that I wear all the time. Okay guys, so that completes the haul. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys would like to see a separate review on the Illamasqua the Skin Base Foundation, just like the video or leave me a comment or something. Because um, I'd be happy to do like a separate like review and demo for you guys. There's probably a lot on YouTube already, but not one from me. I will have all of the links below to these products. If you guys want to go check them out, I'll have my Instagram and my Tumblr link below as well if you guys want to go follow me on there. And I think that's it. So thank you guys so much for watching, um, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!